Hey guys, welcome back to Chill Vibes Only, CVO Wellness. Today's video is all about fantasies and what they say about us. So fantasies are a very interesting and I think exciting topic and I always am fascinated to hear what people fantasize about but I also understand that it's a very vulnerable and intimate and private thing for people. Personally for me, I remember feeling a lot of shame around my fantasies and confusion. Things that I would fantasize about, I was like that just goes so against what I am like in real life and my values and what I think about and so when I would have these fantasies I would be thinking like something's wrong with me and why am I you know getting pleasure from this. When when it has nothing to do with who I actually am in my real life. So today's video is kind of about fantasies and what they say about us and why we have them and actually give you guys some reassurance um, and drop some of the shame and guilt that we may be holding around our fantasies and also just help kind of encourage you guys to tap into your fantasies and see what they might be saying about you and what you are looking for sexually. So our fantasies um, actually can say a lot about what excites us, what's new for us and what is something that's going to also kind of relax us. Fantasies are ways for us to play out certain scenarios that we might not even dream of ever happening in our real life, right? So there are fantasies, obviously, that you might want to reenact with your partner, right? So you might want to reenact a certain, you know, event that you saw or a certain type of movie scene or something like that. And that's totally fine and okay, and I definitely encourage that for kind of introducing new exciting things into your sex life. But there are also fantasies that we may never want to recreate. We just want to live out in our heads and that's what kind of excites us and gets us going and that's also okay. So the fantasies that you choose to reenact are great as long as obviously they're consensual, there's something that you've thought about and that your partner also wants to do. Um, Fantasies that we think about in our head that we don't actually want to reenact are also really great tools for us to kind of escape our current world and try something new without actually having to do that. It's a way for us to kind of let go of our control while still being in control. So for example, you could have someone who's a strong, independent woman who, you know, is in control, is the boss, wants to have things done a certain way, and then in their fantasies, they are very submissive and they let someone else control them and they have, you know, power over them. A lot of women will say that they're confused about that. They say, I'm feminist, I'm strong, I'm assertive, I don't ever want someone to control me or tell me what to do in real life, so why am I getting off to this in my fantasies? Um, but if you actually really think about it, you are the one who's in control of your fantasy, right? So you write the plot, you write the narrative, you choose the cast, you're in control of it. And in that, you're releasing control. So sometimes our fantasies are just a way for us to escape our real lives, to add some excitement, some mystery, some air, which increases our sexual desires as we know. But it doesn't mean it has anything to do with who we are as people. And it doesn't mean that we want that to happen to us in real life. Sometimes it's just about the way that we're controlling the narrative in our mind to create an experience that we wouldn't possibly dream of having in real life, but it's fun to reenact in our fantasies. And there's absolutely no shame, no guilt, no nothing in that. A fantasy can just be a fantasy, right? It can just be something that excites you, that's so off and different from what you would ever do that that's why it's sexually exciting for you, right? So I think a lot of times we can feel a lot of guilt and shame because we're thinking, why would we ever think that? Or why would we ever want that to happen to us? But we don't actually want it to happen to us. It's just in the safe spot of our head. So don't hold guilt or shame around your fantasies. Don't read too much into them. Obviously, if you're feeling differently, right? If you're having the thing like, oh, I'd really love to do this with my partner, that's a kind of a fantasy that you might want to reenact, right? But the ones that you're thinking, oh, I'd never do that, or that's not me at all, maybe it's just because you're you're experiencing something in your mind um, and that's a sexual exciting thing for you to think about doesn't mean you have to do it in real life so our fantasies really don't say that much about who we are as people if anything again it's just an, a way to excite us a way to challenge control um, and a way for us to kind of escape our normal selves and be someone different without having to explain that to the world I think fantasies are a great thing to share if you feel comfortable with your partner but obviously there are things that we want to keep personal and private to ourselves and that's okay too and I encourage you to kind of explore your fantasies and think about the ones that you might want to reenact and the other ones that you might want to keep separate but definitely drop any shame or guilt that you feel around them because our fantasies are just fantasies <laughs> they're not things that tell us anything about ourselves or what we necessarily want to have happen to us in the real world they're just an escape for us a story and something for you to sexually excite yourself with 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it kind of answered any questions you may be having about your fantasies. Please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe because that really helps this channel. And feel free to DM me on Instagram if you have any questions. We post a lot of information about sex, fantasies, sexual desire, sexual response cycles, um, how to talk to your partner about sex. Um, so definitely give that a follow at CBO Wellness and I'll see you guys for another video shortly.